Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn two easy methods that you can use in order to convert from molecules to moles. So let's get started. Method number one uses this equation. This simply says that in order to find the number of moles, we're going to take the given number of molecules and divide by Avogadro's number. And in this video, I'm going to use 6.02 times 10 to the 23 as Avogadro's number. Now let's try method number one on two examples. How many moles are there in 2.45 times 10 to the 25 molecules? Using method number one, we have that the number of moles is going to be equal to the given number of molecules, which is going to be 2.45 times 10 to the 25, and we're going to divide that by Avogadro's number. Keeping these numbers in parentheses so that your calculator doesn't mess up, we're going to get 40.70 moles. Now on your own, use method number one and see how many molecules are in 7.1 times 10 to the 18 molecules. We're going to use the equation again, which says that the number of moles is going to be equal to the given number of molecules, which in this case is going to be the 7.1 times 10 to the 18 molecules, and we're going to divide by Avogadro's number. Again, keeping these numbers in parentheses, we're going to have 1.18 times 10 to the negative 5 moles as our answer. Now let's discuss method number two. Method number two is very helpful when we have a long string of conversions, such as if we're doing stoichiometry or limiting reactant problems. The highlight of method number two is that it allows us to clearly see which units we have already converted and which units we have yet to convert. So let's try a couple of examples to see how method number two works. What is the correct number of moles in 18 times 10 to the 23 molecules? For method number two, I start with what I'm given. So I am given 18 times 10 to the 23 molecules. And in this case, I'm going to want to keep track of what unit this number is for. Now I'm gonna put this over one because we're using fractions. And this number over one is the same thing as if it were written alone because anything divided by one is just itself. Now I'm going to write a new fraction and this fraction, this green fraction is going to help me convert from molecules to moles. And what we're going to use for this is that remember that one mole is defined as Avogadro's number of particles, meaning that in one mole, I have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. Now using properties of fractions, I see that I have the unit of molecules on the top and on the bottom, which means I can cancel out the unit of molecules, leaving me with what I want, the unit of moles. And so at this point, because I have the unit of moles left, I know that I can now divide. When we do this division, again, keeping these numbers in their parentheses, we come out with 2.99 moles. Now try this problem on your own. 4.8 times 10 to the 24 molecules of CO2 is equal to blank moles of CO2. Using method number two, I'm going to write what I'm given. So I'm given 4.8 times 10 to the 24 molecules. I'm going to put that over one and I'm going to have a new fraction which is going to help me convert from molecules to moles. Again, I'm going to use this property that one mole has 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. Again, I see molecules on the top and on the bottom, which means they can cancel. And now, and now I know I can divide because I'm left with the unit I want, which is in moles. When you do this division, remembering to keep these numbers in parentheses, this is the number you will get. Now that is the end of this video. There is a link down below for science and math tutoring, my website, and my publications. If you're looking for more videos to watch, here is my latest video, and here is how to convert from moles to molecules.